When you put the milling vise on the mill table, you're not done, you've only just begun. What you have to do is you have to make sure that this jaw is parallel, square with the head, so that when you do mill a slot, it doesn't wander off course, it doesn't give you an angular cut. If you want an angle cut, that's a different story, but for now what we want to do is we want to figure out how to get this nice and straight and square with the uh, X and Y axis so that we can make proper cuts. One of the things we can do is we can take a piece of drill rod and we can put it up in a chuck. This is going to be one way to do it. We can take an indicator holder and put that in a collet and hold it. And then the third method is a magnetic indicator like this and we can attach it to the spindle and then run it in like that. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves roughly centered. So to do that, we're going to take the spindle and we're going to run it down here. At this point, the vise should be loose. If you have a, uh, an angle vise, it's going to have the base is going to be located on the table and then there'll be two bolts to allow it to, to swivel. So we're going to just do this roughly by eye. We're going to come down here and lock it. And we're going to bring the y-axis out so we just touch it. And I guess I should really show that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to square this up a little bit by eye and just make sure that we're kind of what it's going to look, it's going to appear to us to be pretty straight. Now just take this, your y-axis, and run your handle out till you just barely touch, and then with your x-axis just hand crank so that you can see how does that look. It looks pretty good, and again, now as we get towards the end we see that we're developing a little space there. Well, that's what we want to take out. So we're going to just turn around. We're just going to tap it ever so slightly just to bring some of that space out. And again, with the y-axis, bring it out to touch. And then run it back and see where we are. What that should do, if the vise is loose enough, it'll just kind of push it a little bit out of the way so that we're good. Okay, at this point we're close and what we're going to do now is we're going to dial out the rest of that. What I want you to do is then just take the nuts that are holding that vise and just finger tight so that we don't knock it too much. Okay, so I've removed the, the rod from the collet there and I'm going to use the magnetic attachment here, magnetic indicator, and I'm going to lower the table a little bit And now I'm going to bring this over so that we're close enough and bring it in to just a little bit below the top, about a quarter of an inch below the top surface of this vise jaw. Now again using the Y axis, we're going to bring this in until we touch and we're going to bring our indicator to zero. back, that's it, make sure that we've got some motion there. And now we're going to run it on the x-axis. You can see it falling away, so we know that we're going to have to bring this side of the vise jaw towards us. So right at this point we've actually lost contact, we're going to come back, give ourselves a little bit of indication here. The, the problem with these little indicators is you don't have a lot of uh, motion there. There's not a lot of travel on the indicator, so it takes a little bit longer. But now we're going to see that this is going to start to go a little high. So we're close. We're actually two thousandths away. So this is the high side. 
So we can tap this and it's very similar to what we did when we split the difference. We're just going to tap it about that much. By using a series of very, very gentle, very, very light back and forth taps, you're going to get to the point where your jaw is going to be absolutely dead nuts. So there you go. It takes, oh, two or three minutes, tops. If anybody's telling you it's taking 20 minutes to do this, is just doing it the wrong way. The problem that most people have is that they hit it too hard. Now when you do that, you're going to have problems. So what we want is we want gentle, gentle, gentle little taps. Now I'm just going to show you. That's square. I'm not going to really worry about it, but I'm just going to show you how gentle the tap is. Barely moving it. There you go. That's a half a thousand. That's the kind of tapping you want to do. You don't want to hit it like that because that's what happens. Okay? So we want very, very gentle, gentle, gentle little taps. Once we have our vise squared up, when you go to tighten the nuts down, very, very gently, until you get them snug. You might have to go back and forth two or three times, but you don't want to yank on it because that will actually pull the vise back out of alignment. So the first three or four courses or passes, you're going to just very, very gently tighten up these. And this way, once you get them, and you'll feel it, you'll feel when you're about right, then you can put some muscle into it because you don't want to turn around and in the action of tightening the vise down, knock it out of alignment.